afraid to get a chance to share a cup of good coffee and a bit of the good word with you this morning. Hey, it's a new coffee day. Uh, Don Francisco's uh, Family Reserve. You know, in light of everything going on in Hawaii, I wanted to get a hold of some Hawaiian coffee. And I come across this. This is actually um, Don Francisco's Kona blend. It's it's their medium roast, but and wonderful smell and bean. But um, as it was grinding and roasting, it kind of seemed a little light to me. I'm fixing to find out exactly what the taste is over here. Let let's see there. Hmm, it's good stuff. Hmm, it's got a lot going on there, but it, again, it's a blend. But I like it. It's good. Hmm. Don Francisco's Family Reserve. The, the Kona Blend. That's good stuff. Hmm. Family Reserve. Normally the Family Reserve is what you'd hold back for the family. Uh, the good stuff, as it were. And that brought me in my readings to Psalm chapter 31, verse 19. And David writing here said, How great is your goodness. Speaking to God here. How great is your goodness, O Lord. That goodness that you have reserved for those who fear you. That you have set in place for those who take refuge in you. God has reserved his goodness for, for those who fear him. Those who reverence him. He says here that he has set them in, in a place to be able to take refuge in you. There's a lot of things going on in the world. But we have to realize that God has set us aside. God has set us aside as a, as a remnant. He's reserved us. You know, there's a scripture, um, I don't know where it's at, but he's talking with the, um, he's talking to the prophet, and he says, look, I've reserved 7,000 people in Israel that have not bended the knee, that have not given in. And that reminds me of a lot of the stuff that's going on now. We're talking about the end times and everything that's going on. You may think, well, it's just me and my family or my little church. No, God has a remnant set aside. God has set aside those to reserve, those who fear him. Those that have chosen to take refuge in him. That is us. We are God's reserve. We should be thankful of that. But we should also be just like they are. The family reserve is not reserved just for the family. They're sharing it with others. We should be the same way. We have by our choices, by our actions, and by God's grace been brought into the family. But you know what? The doors aren't shut. We should invite others to come in with us as well. To share with them the goodness. The good coffee. The good word. Mm. Both the churches where I pastor. We got good coffee available on Sunday mornings. So then we give the good word. Let me pray for you this morning. Father God, I'm so thankful that you have reserved for us your goodness and your mercy, your grace, your love. Father God, we have chosen to come within your refuge. And we're so thankful, Lord God, that you have held us there. We pray, Father God, that we will extend that to others, that we will invite others to come into your presence, others to be able to experience your goodness, Lord God. Father, give us that boldness to be able to go forward and be able to share your love, mercy, and grace with others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Look, you know God loves you. I hope by now you know that I love you. Let somebody else out there know that you love them. Sit down. Hey, why not over a good cup of coffee? If you can find some Don Francisco's, that'd be even better. Share the good word with them. Share the gospel. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.